Hello everyone and welcome to the intro video on the Terrascene converter for Clouds to Max. This is a converter that's going to be required before you use the file in 3D Studio Max. And this particular converter is standalone so you run it before you need to import any uh, point clouds into 3D Studio Max and it's really simple to use. So basically what we have here is an input file, an output file, we have some controls and some other little settings that we can do, but I'm just going to stick with the basics. And I should mention that this is an early release, so there will be some changes uh, later on, but the basic process should remain the same. So for the input file, let's look here. I'm going to click on this button here and I'm going to bring in a point cloud, this crime house here, the so there, and then I'm going to give it an output directory. Now I can leave it the same, it defaults to the same location, and you can see that it changed the extension here to TERA. There's a min resolution and max resolution bias. This is still uh, early here, so I wouldn't change these right now, just leave them at the default of zero. If you try to increase these right now to uh, values up to 20 or 10, this is going to process for a very, very long time, so this still needs to be optimized. But Oversampling here, this is probably one of the one of the most important settings. And if you set this to a low number, like one, you're going to get greater resolution in your point cloud and maybe a little bit less performance, even though clouds to max performs really, really well on billions and billions of points. If you want to get something that performs really, really well, increase this up to about a value of eight and about and like we can probably go a little bit more now. We can go to 16, but I don't think you need to go up that high unless you're dealing with massive point clouds. But for most people, if you want a lot of detail and your point cloud is only a couple hundred million points, you can go down to one, two, three, or four, and that will work just fine. In terms of the channels, checking for RGB and intensity, so we want to have those included. Page size and megabytes, leave that as default. If you want to use just a single CPU, I don't know why you would, uh, use as much as you can, and then uh, you have a low memory usage here, but just keep it as is and uh, hit convert file. Okay, so you'll see that a screen pops up here and it's going to give you some indication as to the progress. And so I'm just going to let this run. It's going to be loading all the points. Now, if you have a really, really big file and you're running out of RAM, it will actually switch to your hard drive and it'll start using a temporary space to uh, make the conversion and save some files. Now, in this case, uh, you can see that it's already converted the file and that's pretty much there is to it. If you have other files to do, just use the exact same process and that's all it is. Thanks.